This is an exciting time in the life of Central United Methodist Church. In the next month, we'll be celebrating our 100th anniversary of the Sanctuary Building, a building that has meant so much to so many people throughout their lives. A place where people are baptized, a place where weddings occur, a place where funerals have occurred. This is a place where people gather for worship and then are sent from this sanctuary into our community, our nation, our world, in service to Christ. It's a wonderful time to be celebrating what has happened and what will happen in the life of this church here. We're very proud of this beautiful sanctuary. It's a lovely landmark in our community. It's also an important part of my life. This is where um, my family comes to celebrate happy occasions. This is where we come to find comfort during difficult times. I always find peace in this beautiful place. I just think God is always here waiting for me. Remember when I first came here, Chad Davis, who is the minister and retired, uh, said, I want to show you the sanctuary. It was the last thing we did. And we were going to come in the back door. And Chad says, no, we're not going in that way. We're going to come in right in the front door. I want you to see it. So we opened the door as a, I felt like a bride coming in down the aisle. And, uh, and it was, he had the lights all on and it, it really is a magnificent sanctuary. What I like the most about it is its intimacy. Even though it'll seat five or 600 people, they're all right close to you. And um, it's, it's just a wonderful place to preach. It's the best sanctuary I've ever preached in. I think the sanctuary is beautiful and it, it's such a good feeling to be a part of a church with so much history. I think a good word is peaceful, especially when I show up about 15 minutes early for church just to sit in here either by myself or with just a few other people and really, really just sit here and take it all in. Imagine sitting down for the first time after the construction was finished and looking around, looking at the dome ceilings and the uh, magnificent stained glass windows and the dark wooden pulpit the hand-carved altar and then I start to think that maybe it's not just the majesty of this building that has drawn me and just basically made me fall in love with Central. It's more the people that, that are here, that are members here, that make such a difference for me and my family in my life. And this church has basically become home. It's home for us and our children. Yeah, I mean, we've had some special events, confirmations, baptisms, you know, First Communion, just a lot of special moments with the, the membership as well as the, the pastors. It's, it's a wonderful place. For me, I think the most significant times have been um, Ash Wednesday service, the first time our children uh, received imposition of the ashes, and um, probably their first communion. Mm -hmm. I still remember our youngest, his hands, and how small they were when um, the bread was put into his hands and how special that was. We're very privileged to have such a beautiful sanctuary where our congregation can gather and share such an important experience in their lives together. And I've been privileged to do that for 43 years here at Central Church. Here we hear God's word from the scripture, music, messages from our pastors, and we know that God is in this place and through this place. He comforts us, educates us, and challenges us. If I had to describe this sanctuary in one word, it would be inspiring. Our mission is to follow Jesus and to love God and to love neighbor. When you walk into this building, they give you the tools to follow Jesus, which enables you to love God so that when you walk out of those doors, you can love neighbor. Being a part of the congregation here at Central and leading all these members at this wonderful location is a very special experience. Being able to look out into the congregation and see all of the faces, some a little bit more experienced and some that are new to the faith. It's a wonderful opportunity to be able to experience Christ and be able to follow Jesus by loving God and neighbor here at this location on the corner of Irby and Chavez Streets.